Hi, Peter Harland. It's very good. <laughs> um, and we here just want to have a chat about the lovely paintings that you put into the exhibition, the rag exhibition, uh, called I Dreamt I Woke Up. Mm. So I really enjoyed your, your paintings. With, well, the paintings and collage, aren't they? That's right. Yeah. yeah. And and I, I was quite intrigued about the idea. You've got these. Uh, TV characters, old children TV characters like the central motif and then around them there's like some deep um, deep questions, adult questions like choice and freedom, how did I get here? Is that choice is binary? So I just wondered, you know, if you're using the childhood, the, the contrast to give it a bit more impact, how did you come up with these yeah. Um, yeah, well basically one morning I woke up and I don't know what hit me but it was like an existentialist uh, crisis I think they call it mm -hmm. and I just wondered how I got here to this, you know, this moment in life and I wondered if I'd, you know, if my path had been predefined and if it had been destiny to put it here or if I, you know, had made choices along the way that had defined my path. So I went back in my life and looked at the choices I made and it seemed natural that the way into that would be through my childhood and choices I made as a child. Um, and the, these primarily were which TV programs okay. I watched. Yeah. So these kind of reflect how old I am as well. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so they were a way in. They were quite sort of like um, iconic images from a certain era. Yeah. And um, so I used that as a starting point. To, you know, did I choose these programs to watch as a child? And if I did, how did they affect my future life? And um, or, or was I always destined to watch these programs? And was you know was I always destined to be sitting here now? <laughs> so that that's the thing. And it, it took me off in some kind of tangents, looking into the ideas of freedom and predeterminism and destiny, um, and quite large ideas. Um, but it's funny because it does all start with these. You know, childhood oh, images. Well, yeah. I think I think it's a, a strong way to get that point across. Um, certainly effective. Uh, yeah. Did you come up with any any answers? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. I, see, the thing is, it's always a struggle because I, I'd like to think that I made choices, but you know, I guess you know it's impossible. But at the same time, I'm determined to carry on this path of exploration for a little while until I become truly frustrated. At the moment, I still feel like I've got some areas to explore, especially ideas of freedom, for example. I believe like free choices and freedom um, are binary, that it's only really yes or no to any sort of question that you're asked. And if you answer maybe, it just takes you back to the beginning, so it's not an option. <laughs> so just, just going off at tangents from yeah, existentialism and, and freedom, I think it's very interesting when you start to make, have, you know, look at those questions because I think it really, it sounds a bit corny, but it really does start you on a journey. Yes. You're never going to get anywhere. The frustration yeah. actually I don't think happens because you get interested in something else. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah, and that's what's happened along the way. Um, and it's, it's helped me sort of define my style a bit. Um, like the, the childhood images are very colourful and I yeah. love using colour. So yeah. everything's sort of married together yeah. in, in the journey. Um, so I'm really, like as an artist, I'm really happy with where I am and the journey I'm on at the moment, yeah. which, you know, is not often, it's not something I can say often because often, uh, as most artists know, you hit a wall yeah. and then you have to turn back again. So, um, yeah, well, I find that. Um, <laughs> so, so at the moment, I'm on a free path. And uh, yeah, I'm not expecting to make any massive discoveries, but you never know. Well, so, you never yeah. know, exactly. <laughs> anyway, they're very beautiful. Thank, and you. thank you for talking to me. Thank you.